Yeah, I don't mind. Stand the line. Oh, along with the water. Take it to lay down the bridge. Uh, you know, we don't have an animal to eat the dandelions anymore. Yeah. Of course, they didn't do a very good job of eating them anyway. Yeah. Well, here's a bowl of nice that you can stand. Huh. Okay. Okay, bowl. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and pray. Lord. Thank you for this time and this day, and thank you for this nice, cooler weather. Um, thank you for this time to study your word and learn more about you. Please uh, be with Marty and family and help, help them to heal. Uh, thank you that my co-worker's wife is doing better. And be with us. Uh, prepare us for your word this weekend. And be with us to, to be ready for next week. Lord. Thank you. Amen. So we're going to start with Malachi chapter 3. Malachi 3, 6. Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. God uh, declaring that, that, that he, he doesn't change. He doesn't change his mind. Uh, Israel gave him every reason to, to, to turn his back on them and, and leave them in their state or, or just wipe them out. But, but he doesn't change. He doesn't, he doesn't turn his, he doesn't turn his back. He's not, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't alter how he thinks and what he does. Uh, we'll go to Numbers 23. Uh, Numbers 23:19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has, has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Yes, God, God does not lie, and he doesn't, when he has his mind set on something, he doesn't turn from it. He doesn't, he doesn't repent, he doesn't turn around. Obviously, if he's dishing out judgment, we've seen that if he's dishing out judgment, he might, and, and the people change their ways and they turn and turn to him and repent for their sins, it might he might uh, he might turn from what bad he was going to do. But sometimes you made your bed and you get to sleep in it, kind of a thing. So uh, Psalms 102. <clears throat> Psalms 102, verse 25. 
of old hast thou laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. You all, uh, yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same. And thy years shall have no end. Yes, uh, we will. You know, all of the people of this earth, we will. We will all continue to grow old. We will. We will continue to change. We change our minds all the time with different stuff. We are very unstable people at times. But uh, and everything shall change here. Maybe we look around and things are not. Things aren't the same. They're all they're they're different uh, all the time. They you know, look back and things are always changing. But yet uh, God doesn't change. He's the same. Uh, he's the same all the time. He doesn't uh, from from year to year. He has no end, and and he he's always stable. You can always count on him to be the same. Psalm one hundred. And we'll start with verse 1. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence and sing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, and be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Yes, the Lord is good. He is, we should serve him with gladness. We should, um, we should uh, serve, we should come into the come and be with him and sing songs of praises to him and know that he is God and he is good and that we are his people and and we should be glad that we are the people of his pasture, that he's there to lead us into, into those places where we should go, that lead us into the lands where we need to be. And, uh, and we should en enter his courts with praise. After all, he is... He is way better than we could ever, ever imagine. And his truth endures forever, for all generations. His truth has always been the same from the beginning. It never changes. We don't have to worry about it altering. So we don't have to think he's going to have some sort of, you know, some sort of change of mind or fit or something and suddenly alter, you know, start hanging out with somebody else and suddenly change the way he thinks. He doesn't operate that way. He's not like us. So he's always going to be the same, and everything he does makes sense as long as we take everything in context. Uh, Psalms 119. Verse 89. Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abides. Yes, yes uh, the Lord uh, forever. Uh, forever uh, is the Lord's word, and everything is settled in heaven. He has, He has done, uh, He has done and made everything, and everything He has said is is settled. It is, it is the way it is, and uh, and His faithfulness is to all generations. He is great. He is faithful, way more faithful than we are, and uh, so He. He is a faithful God, and had, He has established the earth, and it's it continues to be here. What 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 uh, what we see as far as the degradation, we see the the 
all of the degrade over time is our own fault. We're the ones who messed it all up. And so, but he planned it all that way in the beginning. He knew what was going to happen. He had a much greater plan, and Christ was his greater plan. So, Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews 6.18 And we'll start with 17. Wherein God will, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that is, by two immutable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation. Who have, who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the, of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which in enter entereth into that within the veil. Whether the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, he uh, uh, no, uh, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So yeah. Two two unchangeable things. God doesn't lie. And we can have a we can have a, a good hope, a good strong hope that that we have uh, that we are saved in Christ. That that God has uh, that God has a, has a refuge. That He has this this hope that He's given us as an anchor, as an anchor to our soul, and uh, that we can that we can look to God and. And know that he is steadfast. That he is he is strong. That he he has uh, that, that he has set everything to to uh, to give us to give us hope. And in the times of times of difficulty, we have we have those things that really can drag us down from time to time, or things that really can really can wear on us. But yet we can know God is always there. Where we can. We're, we're never truly alone in places where people have suffered so much. Uh, they, they have found that they're never really alone in the times of the most isolation and the most trouble. They, Christians have found that, that God's there even, even, more, even more than they could tell before. That, uh, that we get busy and distracted, but when things get really, really hard, uh, God's God's always there, but yet he's more he's, he's he's more easily detected, more easily felt, because we need him more at those times. So he's he's always he's always good to us and always looking out, even if things even if he does bring hard things to try to teach us stuff for his his own. Quite often Christians have suffered so that people can can see God better because you know that Christians just don't suffer through things like normal people do. Uh, we'll go to Hebrews thirteen. Hebrews thirteen, verse eight. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Uh, Christ came and he chose to came. He, he loved us so much he came to, to die. He did the will of the Father and only the will of the Father. He came and died and, and then conquered death and rose again. And he is always the same. He was the same before he came to earth. He will be the same 
He's the same, was the same when he was here, and he will be the same when he comes back. Yeah, he has different things he's doing each time, but so different goals of mind. But he is the he is always the same. He is being God. He doesn't change either. So uh, James one. James one seventeen. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, which uh, with whom is no veritableness, neither shadow of turning. God. Uh, God has God. Uh, God always has the best gifts for us. He always has the best best things for uh, for for us to for us to to have and to and to do. He, I mean, after all, He gave us Christ. What could possibly be better than that? Not only is it a it, it was it a perfect gift to save us from ourselves. I mean, we can't. We we just can't. We can't. We can't live even even as Christians. We can't we can't live perfectly, uh, but as as part of the world, we just really couldn't. We were completely messed up. But yet He came and saved us out of our sins, even though we were we were sinners. He saved us, gave us a gave us a path to be able to to come to Him, and then on top of that, didn't just leave us in that state, but yet left the Holy Spirit and. And with Christ as a conqueror, he, he conquered death, he conquered sin, so we have the ability to live like we would have never been able to live without him. So, and he doesn't, there's no variation, there's no, as it says, variableness, there's no, he doesn't, he, he doesn't suddenly uh, change and become something different. There's, he doesn't, he doesn't turn from, from what he's going, from what he's doing, so. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, verse 6. The voice said, cry, and he said, what shall I cry? All, all flesh is grass, and all uh, goodliness thereof is as the flowers of the field. The grass withers and flower fades, because the Spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Uh, surely the people, surely the people is grass. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of but the word of our God shall stand forever. Yes, from you can you can see that uh, we certainly we certainly do. No matter uh, how 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 God made his, his people and his creation so wonderful in the beginning and stand so lovely, but after sin entered it, we. We, we grow old, we, we, we start, uh, and uh, we aren't such, always such lovely people to be around, but, uh, you know, and nothing lasts forever, everything fades, everything grows old, and, but yet, God's not like that, His, His word lasts forever, He shall stand forever, He, he there, some have said that, uh, some of the uh, described Satan as being like an opposite to God, but that's that's not even close. That's that's like calling an ant an opposite of a human. I mean, it's just it's it, there's there's it's not even close. God is God is uh, beyond description. He, you know, he he has all power and all knowing, but yet is love and light flows through him and light. Yes, he has judgment. He has. You know he has everything perfectly, 
and Satan is com isn't completely the opposite. He's, he, he is, he's completely opposite in every way in which he thinks, but he's not an opposite, like an equal opposite to God. He's, he, there is no comparison uh, uh, between Satan and God. So God, no matter what Satan does, God's going to have the upper hand. In the end, he's going to accomplish God's will, whether he wants to or not. So, so God's word stands forever, and God will always, God will always be there. He he said what he was said, and he said what he will do, and and good times and bad times, he's always there. He's he's there for us, and we know we can always count on him to do what he says and to to always be the same and to to always stand by us uh, or walk before us. So we'll pray. Lord, thank you for your word and the encouragement you give. Thank you that that we can look to you and truly trust in you because you you are always the same. You you never change and we can we can put an anchor in you. You're you're like a, a rock that we can we can stick in an anchor. We can hold fast to that rock, and we know we're not going anywhere. As long as we're we're steadfast and you know, with you, and we stay with you and in Christ, we know that we are always in good hands. So thank you, Lord, and bless your name. Amen. Thank you. One second.